I'd like to say good morning ladies and gentlemen but it's not morning it's actually the afternoon I'm a rebel I don't care I'll go out whatever the time of day I haven't actually fully charged this at the minute uh, purely because I'm still testing it and I was gonna go out tomorrow morning first thing and the weather's changed it's gonna absolutely hammer it down we're gonna have thunder and lightning the worst storms ever so i decided to come out today but unfortunately it's going to rain this afternoon i don't know if you can see the clouds probably not uh it is going to rain so i've got no real choice and this road so it's closed bridge ahead closed for safety works There you go. Anybody, um, anybody who lives in Stafford who wants to know why the bloody old is it Passage Road is closed? Oh, that's the reason. <laughs> anyway, I'm out today testing because, as you know, I've rebuilt the whole battery again. Uh, I think I found the problem, which is uh, one of the uh, cell balance wires that's come loose. It's probably not come loose. It's probably just bloody the connectors knackered so I thought I'd go this way this time get out of Stafford I'm not showing you the bloody traffic in Stafford it's horrible oh look at that nothing on the road just me nobody else to bother me at all I want that house well we've got no cut out yet which just seem uh, it just seemed good. I've had a few questions about this, as you know. Uh, most of them good. <laughs> a lot of people don't like me anymore. <laughs> I really couldn't couldn't give a shit. <laughs> One of the main questions. I mean, as you know, if I open this up fully, is that Evoed or was it? Well, it was Evoed where they make Evo stick, or they used to make Evo stick there. There's a crematorium around here as well somewhere. Not the sort of place I like. Anyway. Um, it's how long it is since I've been around here. I didn't even know there was an island. What the hell is this? I've never seen this island before. Used to be traffic lights there. Anyone in Stafford who lives in Stafford, how long have them traffic lights been there? How long's that island been there? Mmm, something smells nice. I'm just having a slow ride because I've got no protection on whatsoever. I've got a t-shirt on, it's 28 degrees. It's a lot cooler than it was yesterday. My god, that was a bloody torture day. Absolute torture. People have said, why don't you, uh, why don't you change the throttle curve? Well, I don't want to. That's number one. And number two, it's fine. There you go. There's the reason. It's basically a linear throttle curve. Now, I, uh, as you may have gathered, I am a speed demon, and I want to be able to open this up flat out, no matter what speed I'm going, no matter where I am, whatever situation. Uh, if I put a delay on it, that's going to end in tears purely because it's still going to have the same throttle. And if I put a ramp on it, it's still going to have the same throttle. What the hell's this behind? Oh my god, it's a bloody Arctic. By default, it's a linear throttle. It's a very courteous driver. Plenty of room. Thank you very much, sir. First time today, I like BMW drivers. Oh my... Jesus! You bastard! I don't know what the hell that was, but it hit me. Throttle curve, yes, right. Linear throttle curve. So if I open the throttle halfway, I'll get half power. If I open the throttle all the way, I'll get full power. If I put a ramp on it, a timed ramp, of say three seconds, and I open the throttle, in three seconds, it'll be full throttle. Well, that isn't very good. 
although it's actually a gradual sort of a ramp in three seconds I'll have full throttle if I need to get out of trouble I've got three seconds where it does absolutely bugger all really Oh, oh I can smell cows is this another lorry oh my god oh my god I'm gonna die now this is a very steep bank it's what's called Western Bank now the idea of this is I'm testing the regen now and I'm gonna see exactly how much that's 270 watts it's putting back in I want to make sure that at the bottom of this hill it doesn't cut out oh this is a steep hill 400 watts 450 ish Right. I've still got throttle. I fixed it. it. <laughs> nice, I am. <laughs> when I get to the end of here, I don't know where to go actually. When I get to the end of here, I'm going to turn around and go back up that hill. I've been meaning to say this for quite a while now, actually, quite a few months. Um, I've uh, come to know this bloke who lives in South Africa. And I can't even say the name of the place, but it's Namibib, Namib, Namibia. Hey, I did it! Anyway, he lives in Namibib. Oh bollocks! And oh, here we go. Oh yes! I've got to get the camera on here. Anyway, he lives in uh, he lives in Namib, uh, that place there. He is one of the nicest blokes, so I've had the pleasure of knowing. Um, he's the one who's actually really is managing the forum I'm not there all the time I've got loads of things that I have to get done loads of different things and he just manages the forum for me and I haven't asked him to do it I've not asked him to do anything whatsoever Charles bought a, uh, a Fiat Uno that was converted I think in 2004 and he's trying to modernise it and bring it back to sort of health I suppose um, it was electric one and he's trying to bring it back to health and, and, and you know do all the wiring and stuff like that he's having an absolute nightmare and in, in, in over there they can't get the parts purely because it costs too much the shipping the import costs and the shipping costs and everything else are just bloody ridiculous so I've, anyway I've helped him out now I'm going to leave a link in the description to his YouTube channel because it is good. As everybody here likes to see, they like to see inside people's lives and they like to see how the other half live. Although I'm not the other half as such, I'm just that part. Um, Charles is uh, obviously doing a, a build, a vlog of, of kinds on, on what he's doing with this, this electric car and how he's modernising it. So. What I want you to do is just go and have a look. You might like it, you might not. Personally, I do, because I like anything to do with EVs. But I don't like to watch EVs, videos of people who've just bought a bloody Tesla and say, look at that Tesla, it's f***ing uh, This place on the left is Western Hall. It was built in 1556, and now it's a hotel. Western Hall, ladies and gentlemen, costs an absolute fortune. 140 something quid a night. It is a nice place though. My mate Dave got married here. I stood on those steps. I got a photograph. <laughs> oh yes, this, this is my new house. Look at that. absolutely fantastic place I love going around places like this American people seem to love England and all the British the monarchy and stuff like that I mean personally I don't really care about it uh, I don't follow them 
I don't have anything to do with them. I've never met them. If they invite me round for tea, I suppose I'll go round. Here's another expensive place. I'll go round the island. The Grange. So there's an old English house for you. Has it got a thatch roof? No. Western Hall, ladies and gentlemen. What we're going to do now is go back up this hill, which is a very steep hill, and I don't know what's going to happen. I reckon about three, maybe four, maybe five kil. Oh, sorry, mate. Pissing up Western Bank. I remember coming up here on my moped doing about five miles an hour. Well, it ain't cutting out anymore. It ain't cutting out. This is the Stafford County Showground because Stafford is a county. And they have so many different shows on here. They have classic car shows, they have air shows, they have normal car shows. Tony's bike show <laughs> and this is the uh, the only place that I've actually been in a helicopter in on at it was I think it was an air show of some kind when we died when I was uh, when I was 18 and I'm sure he bloody planned it because he said um, she ain't gonna look look she's not looking anyway my dad said um, see that helicopter there because it was in it was in that field there sitting in the middle of that field see that helicopter in there and I said yeah he said I've just paid for a ride in it for you so I went up in this bloody helicopter got my camera with me I couldn't take a bloody photograph because I was shitting myself so much I just couldn't let go of the seat <laughs> I just couldn't do it <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting used to the throttle curve now. It was quite harsh to start with. Uh, now I've got used to it. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's lovely. I'm going to put my light on. So my headlight is on. There's cars coming, so I can't go. People misunderstood the reasoning why I put the fan in. The fan was purely there to cool the BMS down when I'm charging the balance resistors sort of side of it. It's not there to cool the battery down like it's not it's not even connected now. It's only there when I'm it's only there for when I'm charging. No other reason. Oh, did you want to race? Well I'm not racing because I'm testing. Give me some room, mate. Ran along on my bike. What the hell's holding what up? What, what, what? Brakes! God, these Mangora brakes are good. They are so... F they f they'll knock you over the bars. Absolutely fantastic piece of kit they are. And that Hope. I mean, the Hope calipers. They are absolutely brilliant. I've got me a Hope calipers on the front. I've got me a Hope disc, the vented front disc on the front, obviously. And it is absolutely fantastic. There's no fade whatsoever. I am going to command my position on the road. <laughs> Shall I have a take in? Shall I? Shall I have a take in? Shall I? Shall I, Shall I do it? Shall I? What do you think? Oh, think of his how much of his ego would be damaged if I actually overtake him there. His penis would disappear back into his body. Uh, VBMS version uh, 2.11 is going to be released soon. Uh, with various improvements. Uh, obviously it logs every single cell that you've got plugged in. 
up to 24s. It doesn't go above 24s, and I know people have asked me. There's no iOS version. There never will be any iOS version. Uh, Apple put too many uh, restrictions in place for anybody, Mr. Average, to actually um, publish anything. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, fantastic. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I think I've got about six or seven miles to get back and my voltage is running a bit low in fact it's the lowest it's ever been and those clouds are looking oh my god they are looking bad I've noticed with with uh, riding this around people can't overtake it at normal speed they have to absolutely floor it when they go past I don't know why. <laughs> right, the weather's coming from that way. Those clouds are ridiculously dark. This corner here, right, when we used to go, uh, there used to be a pub down there, and we used to go there on a Friday night and went over else. Now this, uh, this junction here, we're always coming from where you can see. We're always coming that way. Now, what we used to do was... We used to get to where that uh, where that car is now. Turn your headlights off so you can see if anybody's coming down this road, and then you just go straight across here. Well, I was coming down here the one day, and my mate Dave, who is watching this video, you bastard, my mate Dave came down there with his headlight. Oh, sorry, mate. I would get the Bentley crashed into me. Oh, that sounds nice. So, my mate Dave, I was coming down here, my mate Dave was coming down here, he turned his headlights off, went straight in front of me here as I was going around the bend, and I ended up, no, I didn't hit that post, I went in the ditch. Obviously, at the time, I didn't know who it was. Um, I went back home, had to fix all the bloody, smash the front end of my car out with hammer. Uh, went down the pub on the night time and I said, you won't believe what some bastard's just done to me. <laughs> and it was him. Friends like that, who the bloody hell needs enemies, eh? I still speak to him. Don't like him, though. He's a twat. I might go down the canal one day, because ah, there's something called Tixel Wides, which is just over onto my left. I'm not putting me head over there because I'm trying to constipate. Uh, it's a very, very wide part of the canal. When I were a lad and my dad used to build boats, um, I think he built three boats, but he built two speed boats and one canal boat, to my knowledge, and he's probably going to correct me on that. I don't know if he built any dinghies or something, oh, whatever. So my dad built these boats, and in our summer holidays, we used to go down the canal. Best part of my life that was. I got so many memories of the canal. There you go, this is unspoilt England. Not like bloody nothing like Birmingham and places like that. Good test of the bloody suspension, I'll tell you that. I've got to soften this bloody suspension on the front. I, I firmed it up a bit. You know, it is lads when you need to firm something up. I'm going to... Is that... Right. It's all the way off. Uh, this is as soft as I can get it. <laughs> Why is it? I can't. I just can't have a normal conversation without it sounding rather suggestive. Let's see what the motor temperature's like while I'm here. That's not even warm. The disc is bloody hot, I can feel that. That's not even warm. Oh, for 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 for. How the hell did he get through there? 
the cheeky git. Well, because this was only a, a, a short journey, which is turning to quite a long bloody journey, um, I haven't got so much range anxiety now. It's lasted a hell of a lot better than I thought. And I'm just wondering what the temperatures are. I mean, the, the, the FET temperature is only 29 degrees. So it doesn't even get warm, to be honest. Nothing gets warm. I don't know what the battery temp is. I think that's the next one. He started to log the uh, uh, get get it to log the battery temperature as well, it's just to see if there's any hot spots. Good idea, Tony. Anyway, folks, I've got a few miles to go and no more range anxiety because I know I'm going to get there, and this battery is fantastic. So I'm going to end this one and I'll catch you next time. And remember, life is definitely worth living on this measly earth. All you've got to do is get out there, do what you want, enjoy it to the absolute max and bollocks to what anybody else thinks.